Okay, uh, thank you all for joining this webinar on introduction to ASHRAE certifications. Um, as previously mentioned, uh, please type in your questions uh, so that uh, I can answer them at the end of this presentation. So here is what we are going to look at today. What is meant by ASHRAE certification? how you can earn and maintain your ASHRAE certifications, and most importantly, what are the benefits of earning an ASHRAE certification? So just to give you a background on this, uh, there are over 3,000 ASHRAE certified professionals. Um, these certifications were created by ASHRAE to meet the industry needs, identify through the market research. So uh, uh, you will you will see that these certifications um, gear up very well with what industry needs. Skill sets that are needed by, by the HVAC and refrigeration industry uh, are made uh, well by these. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Pranav, uh, can I speak uh, one minute? So your channel is showing at the, like, uh, at the right portion of the slide. So can you please okay. uh, minimize your channel? Yeah, right. Thanks. Got it now. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. So uh, uh, I, I was talking about how these uh, certifications uh, meet the industry needs very well. Uh, these certifications were developed by uh, subject matter experts uh, at ASHRAE and at allied uh, organizations. Um, so there were some experts who designed these certifications. And uh, most importantly, all um, uh, most of the ASHRAE certifications as of now are accredited by ANSI. So they uh, follow the ANSI standard 17024, uh, which is a rigorous standard for uh, personal certifications. So even these certifications are verified by a third party program. Okay, so these are the seven certifications that are offered by ASHRAE as of now. Um, building commissioning professional, that is BCXP, which is related to commissioning. Uh, then there is a certification related to energy auditing, AP, meaning building energy assessment professional. Then there is building energy modeling professional. Uh, ASHRAE also has a certification for high performance building design. Uh, named as HBDP, High Performance Building Design Professional. Then you have Healthcare Facility Design Professional. Uh, Ashra also has a certification for Operation and Performance of the Buildings, which is OPMP, uh, Operation and Performance Management Professional. And uh, there is one more certification, uh, which is the which is the recent one, uh, which is Certified HVAC Designer. So as you can see, ASHRAE certifications cover up uh, most of the areas related to the built-up environment, uh, right, right from the design of the building, commissioning of the building, and also uh, performance of the building uh, or the ongoing performance of the building. So uh, these certifications are, uh, as I said previously, very well aligned with the industry needs. Um, there are four ASHRAE certifications that are NC accredited right now. Uh, the remaining three, namely HFDP, OPMP, and CHD, will be NC accredited uh, in the month of July. So starting July this year, all the ASHRAE certifications will be NC accredited. So the newest entrant to the certifications is the Certified HVAC Designer, or CHD, which is a global certification. And uh, that came into existence after ASHRAE did uh, a very big survey uh, asking consulting engineers, architects, engineers, and design build members of uh, the industry needs. And approximately 14,000 respondents uh, responded from over 50 countries. Uh, so ASHRAE was able to align this certification to critical job tasks that are related to the certification of the 
certified HVAC designer. So what's the scope of this uh, latest certification? So once you get this certification, um, it, it shows that uh, uh, you, you are proficient at uh, meeting, uh, designing the HVAC systems to meet uh, building or project requirements. You can do load calculations, you can do equipment selection and sizing, uh, you can do duct and piping design, and also uh, you can do the HVAC plans for the permit and construction phases of the project. So uh, this was a little bit of background of the seven different type of certifications of ASHRAE. Now you can, uh, now, now I'll, I'll talk about uh, the value. Uh, why should you earn an ASHRAE certification? Uh, first and foremost, uh, this is a validation from a third party uh, that is ASHRAE, that you are good at what you do. So uh, meaning you're good at doing critical jobs, uh, for example, a BEMP certified professional, he can do building mod, uh, energy modeling very well. Uh, that's validated by ASHRAE as a third party. Um, the ASHRAE certifications also give you an improved opportunity for being hired or being promoted to uh, uh, promoted in your existing organization. And for consultants, it can also help you generate new business. And the reason for that is uh, ASHRAE is a global society. Uh, the ASHRAE chapters are present in almost uh, every country in the world. And uh, there are more than 50,000 members worldwide, uh, which are ASHRAE members. So a certification from ASHRAE has a value worldwide. So somebody uh, doing a certification in Sri Lanka. Uh, if somebody from Sri Lanka is uh, ASHRAE certified, and if he travels to uh, outside world, then uh, he will be uh, known uh, to the ASHRAE members at least. And because ASHRAE is a global society, that certification carries a greater value compared to uh, your compared to something like your earning a certification in a local body, which is not recognized uh, outside your country. So that's the difference uh, between a global certification and a local certification. Uh, going ahead, um, getting this, these uh, ASHRAE certifications also demonstrates that uh, you are committed professionally. So you are not just stopping at your bachelor's or master's degree, but you want to continue to uh, develop professionally. So all these, values are really important. Uh, one more thing about ASHA certifications is um, the course work or the resources for these certifications do not spoon feed you for getting this certification. So if you're really, really good at it, uh, then uh, only you can uh, earn this certification. And that's just my personal experience. Uh, there are other certifications uh, in which the certified authorities give you the material to study and if you study it reasonably well there is almost always a chance that you will pass that examination uh, but ashray certifications actually have a pass and fail rate uh, i'll, I'll um, show you a couple of examples of that so moving ahead um, additional value for uh, certification earners uh, ashray conducted uh, a study or a survey in 2016 in what's the value of certification from ASHRAE. And many people said that I'm proud to hold my ASHRAE certification. Uh, and that's because, as I said, getting an ASHRAE certification is, is not an easy task. 89% um, uh, people from this survey said that uh, the ASHRAE certification validated his or her level of, uh, level of skill. Uh, many others said that uh, getting an ASHRAE certification is a good barometer to how serious someone is about their career. Uh, most importantly, uh, ASHRAE certifications differentiate you from your peers. That was the feedback of 82% of the people. And this is going to be important in coming days because of the situation we are all in. Uh, differentiating yourself from the peers is going to be very important. Uh, Coming back to the survey, 
almost 73 percent uh, people said that in the in 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 this field that is uh, HVAC and refrigeration actually certification provided the certification earner a greater professional recognition so as you can see there is a, a lot of value to uh, to get these certifications so coming to the employers uh, what's the value uh, for of certifications to the employers and again uh, Ashray did uh, its due diligence. It conducted a survey uh, uh, for the employers in 2016. And many of the employers said that um, they have a varying level of competence uh, or they see a very varying level of competence among HVAC designers. So how would you differentiate the good designers from average ones? And uh, the most of the employers thought that uh, having a certification will help them identify the, the, the best candidates out there. Uh, almost 81% of the employers said that uh, they need qualified HVAC designers. And almost 82% of the, of the employers said that HVAC designer certification will be a worthwhile professional development goal for their employees. Uh, as all of you know that uh, many companies encourage their employees uh, to develop professionally continuously and some some companies even sponsor uh, sponsor certifications so all in all uh, this is a good value adder to the employer also, employers also uh, so even uh, so the employees can target the candidates that are certified versus the candidates that are not certified and uh, hiring a candidate is, is not an easy task so uh, this is this is very helpful to the employers also so as i said uh, employers know whom to hire promote and assign important projects um, if if the person is certified he's he's more likely to get these opportunities um, more, many employees want to incorporate incorporate ashray in uh, um, almost more than 35 local state and national government bodies recognize ashray certifications um, i understand that uh, most of these uh, government bodies are from the usa or canada and some of them are from uae but uh, we at uh, region at large uh, i believe most of the participants are from the ral region uh, we, we should strive to uh, make local government bodies to recognize ashray certifications and uh, this is for our good also because it enhances the eligibility for winning the local state and federal contracts so these are also some uh, important pointers for employers as it comes to uh, ashray certifications so so far we talked about what ashray certifications are what is what are, what is the value of ashray certifications to uh, to the certification earners and uh, to the employers. Now we'll see the steps to earn and maintain ASHRAE certifications. So the first and foremost is, uh, if you want to appear for an uh, examination related to ASHRAE certification, you download the, uh, uh, the candidate guidebook that is prepared for each and every certification. The candidate guidebook gives you the eligibility requirements, examination details, and recertification requirement. So I'll quickly show you what a candidate uh, guidebook looks like. So uh, Ashley Certifications website is where you go and you download these uh, candidate guidebooks. Uh, as you can see, for each and every certification, there is this downloadable link. Uh, these downloads are free after you complete a uh, a very simple form. So this is where you download the candidate guidebooks. And this is how a candidate guidebook looks like. So as you can see, it gives you the information you need related to the examination. Now in my case, uh, this is related to the BEMP certification. So as I talked about previously, 
certifications have a pass and fail rate. Um, as you can see for the BEMP certification, uh, the passing score is 67 and only 64% of the total appeared as of uh, January 2018 were able to pass the certification. So first step is download the candidate handbook. Um, so uh, there are some eligibility requirements for uh, all Azure certifications. Um, I'm, I'm just giving you, giving you an example uh, of the BEM. Um, so essentially you need some education plus some work experience to sit for the examination. For example, if you have a PE license and two years of energy modeling experience, you can sit for the examination. A uh, PE license is uh, similar to a certi certified engineer license in other parts of the world. Uh, PE is mostly related to the USA and Canada. Uh, the second option to appear for this uh, examination is uh, you need to earn the bachelor's degree in engineering or related field and have uh, five years of experience related to energy, including a minimum of two years of experience related to energy modeling. Uh, if you have a master's degree, uh, it, it counts for two years of experience. Uh, there is also eligibility criteria related to the associates, uh, technical and high school diploma degrees, but I'm going not going to uh, go over them uh, because I believe most of the uh, most of the people joining today have the bachelor's degree at least. Uh, but if you are interested in knowing eligibility criteria for other degrees, uh, they, they are available in the candidate guidebook. Okay, so the next step is to complete an online application. Uh, it just takes five minutes uh, and you, you get the acceptance within five business days. Um, you need to schedule and take examination within 90 days of uh, approval. Uh, BEAP and BCXP uh, uh, online applications take a little more time, but uh, not more than 10 to 15 minutes. And the reason for that is uh, those two certifications need you to showcase the work experience also. Then you pay the application fees, uh, which is $395 for ASHRAE members and $545 for non-members. Uh, ASHA certifications need to be renewed uh, every three years. So the fees for that is $195 for ASHRAE members, and $195 for non-members. So this is a good incentive for becoming an ASHRAE member. Uh, you get uh, very high discounts if you are an ASHRAE member. The next step is to schedule an examination. Uh, all the examinations are computer based. Uh, there are over 375 locations all over the world. And Ashra has come up with a great uh, idea of remote pro proctoring, which will likely begin from May 31st this year. Um, the remote proctored exams mean that you can even give your examination from home or your office, provided that uh, certain criteria are met. I think this is a great idea because um, most of the countries are facing lockdown. So why not appear for an ASHRAE examination in the coming days? Um, so most uh, all of the ASHRAE examinations are proctored and closed book. Uh, they, con they contain multiple choice questions and uh, non-native English speakers uh, get 30 extra minutes for testing. Uh, Ashre provides you with uh, some resources uh, before appearing for the examination so, so that you can prepare very well. Uh, the first and foremost uh, resource is the detailed content outline, uh, which, which, is, uh, which has a short form DCO. So I'll quickly show you the detailed content outline for the DEMP examination. This is how the DCO looks like. has three levels of questions. Uh, 
The first level is recall, as you can see here. The second level is application. And the third level is analysis. So recall questions are the questions you just need to recall from memory. For example, uh, what is the global warming potential of uh, R404A? Uh, application type questions are a little more uh, difficult. You need to apply your knowledge to get the answers. Uh, the third type is analysis, uh, where you uh, where you need, you need to analyze the information from the question. You need to do certain calculations and come up with an answer. So this uh, detailed content outline also gives you topics on which you will be tested. Uh, for example, building envelope and partitions. So as you can see, building envelope and partitions will have one question for recall, two for application, and two more for analysis type questions. So this is a good document uh, for you to review and strategize for the exam. Now coming back to the available resources, ASHRAE also gives you a 30 question online on-demand certification practice exam. Just to give you a feel and difficulty level of the certification, uh, there are always ASHRAE standards, guidelines, and courses that you can take. Uh, the good thing about the CHD certification is that uh, a CHD study guide will be launched on uh, July 15th. So that's additional study material for you for the CHD examination. Uh, once you earn the certification, uh, you need to renew it after every three years. And for that, you need to demonstrate continuing education, as it's called, uh, continuing competence. In uh, through professional development hours, PDH. Um, and you need to earn 45 PDH uh, every three years uh, in order to renew your certification. Uh, how you can earn the PDH is given in the, uh, in the candidate guidebook that you can download. Now, after you have earned a certification, what is ASHRAE doing for you? So the first, uh, thing is, ASHRAE is giving you digital badges. Uh, this is a new uh, concept by ASHRAE, which I think is, is great. Uh, you get this digital badge that you can showcase. Just uh, show you what the digital badge means. So this is my digital badge. And when I click on the badge, it shows me it, sh it, sh it shows me the information. Um, so it says it shows you the name of the person. It shows you when the when the certification was completed. In my case, it was 5th of June 2015. It also shows you whether the certification is active or not. Uh, now mine is active because it expires on December 2021. So digital badges are a great way to market yourself. Um, and it's a third party validated badge. Uh, you can share them through electronic media such as LinkedIn, email, websites, and so on. Uh, it gives you instant recognition. Uh, for example, if somebody wants to hire you, you can just click on the badge on the LinkedIn and it gives you, uh, it gives the potential employer all the information he needs. So for example, the, the badges show you the skill, skills uh, that the BEMP certified professional has. And it also show you, so shows the potential employer what the building energy modeling professional uh, uh, certification is all about. So good way to uh, mark, market yourself, as I previously said. Uh, these are, uh, the, the digital badges are real time. Uh, meaning if the badge is expired, uh, the, the website will say that the badge is expired. Uh, one more way uh, in which ASHRAE uh, markets you after you get the certification is it uh, publishes your name in the eSociety uh, newsletter, which is the monthly newsletter of ASHRAE. Uh, ASHRAE also has the certification earner dictionary website 
show you the once you go to uh, this website you can find a certified ashray professional so if you want to see who's ashray certified in india you can click here and it shows you the list so if if a customer or a consultant wants to uh, wants to give a project to only ashray certified you can just uh, come here and search for them and uh, the list of ASHRAE certified professional appears. As I previously said, uh, you can always showcase your certification via the digital badge. Uh, you can also feature a certification designation uh, on your cards, on your letterheads, on your email, and so on. So uh, that was all about what ASHA certification is, how you can earn it, and what is the value of uh, getting that. Um, I, I'm just uh, going to give you a, my, my personal feedback or testimony. Uh, once I became an ASHA certified professional, I got a very positive feedback uh, professionally. So that's just one testimonial for you. Uh, hiring certified professionals and uh, assigning work to certified professionals also shows that uh, you respect knowledgeable people so i hope uh, many of you uh, go ahead and get certified uh, the best way to start is to go to the ashray certifications website which is given on the screen now uh, the next step is to uh, download the candidate guidebook for your respective examinations. And if you still have questions, you can email at certifications at ashray.org. So uh, uh, they, they can answer your questions. So that's the end of the presentation today. I hope uh, it was helpful to you. And I'll now go to the questions, if there are any. Okay, so a lot of questions. I'll try to answer as much as I can. Oops. Okay. I, I missed your question, Esa. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so the question from Vinod Duvernu Gopal is, can you please share the presentation slides? Uh, yes, the organizers are going to share the presentation slides. Okay. I, I so there is a question from Ravi Kumar RS. I currently work in the renewable energy sector. I would like to understand how this will be helpful to my career and which one should. Uh, it also depends on your background as to what you are doing right now. So a detailed uh, question to certifications at ashray.org might be helpful in this case, or you can even contact me on LinkedIn. So the next question is from Jalal. Okay, that's, that's a good information for the candidates. He says, due to the coronavirus situation, all the centers which hold examination are closed. How can I apply for an examination within these days? I think that's a great question, uh, but unfortunately, I don't have an answer to that. Uh, you, you will have to probably write to the certifications at ashra.org. Uh, hope the speaker share his contact details at the end. Uh, I think if you have questions related to certifications, they better go to uh, Ashley Certifications email. Uh, if you still want to contact with me, you can always use the social media platforms. I'm not seeing the presentation. Okay, so there is a question from Shamakant Mirashi. The question is, do we have to be member of ASHRAE to apply? No, you don't have to. 
uh, it's just that it, if, if you're not a member, the fees are higher. Uh, so there is a question from Damon Eid. Uh, I, I hope I, I pronounced that name correctly. Uh, but he has left. So, but I'll, I'll still answer the question. I have 10 years of experience in installation and test commissioning, so I'm eligible or not for BEMP. I am not a bachelor degree in mechanical engineering. Uh, if you don't have experience related to modeling, you will probably not be eligible for BEMP, but you'll probably be eligible for uh, BCXP. So next question is from Kasim Shehzad. Is there any option for online exam through home or office? Uh, yes, uh, Ashray is planning to do that uh, after 31st of May. Hopefully uh, they, they get to uh, get that going on or before 31st of May. Okay, there is a question from the Guijay Ronge, which PDH are recommended for undergraduates? Uh, you need to have certain experience to apply for most of these certifications. So uh, you'll have to wait for some time. So there is a question from Ankur Manfri. I want to apply for BEAP certification. Could you please let me know, is safety training certificate from my employer eligible? I think that will be best answered by the ASHRAE certifications committee. Unfortunately, I do not have answer to that question. Yeah, Pranav, uh, we can have this answer from Tim. Your team is online, yeah. Okay, so. so can we unmute him? I can unmute him, just give me a second. Okay, please, please, yeah. Okay, so here is Tim Klein who's the certifications manager at ASHRAE, who can answer that question. Tim, you there? Yes, I am. Good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you to Prana for giving the presentation. Great job. And thank you to the organizers. Um, so on the, the BEMP application, just asks for you to list your education and a work reference and a contact email and if your application is audited then we would contact them okay so I think that, that answers, answers the issue. question okay so there is one more question related to the beap certificate from ankur mantri or did you answer that one Okay, so there is one more question from Himao Shu Sharma. As there are some professionals who keep traveling on regular basis and can't be regular on courses and certification, session exam can be taken online or any time suitable to the candidate. Yes, uh, hopefully Ashra will get it going uh, from May, of, May 31st of this year. Second question is regarding the eligibility criteria. Do we require to upload the experience documents or degree for the same? Uh, I think uh, Tim answered that. Uh, you may be asked to upload the experience document or share the ex experience document with the certifications committee. Uh, question from Essa. Uh, as I said, uh, you need to have some experience to appear for the certifications. Uh, question from Chetan Sakharkar. Are the questions based on a particular software? No, they are not. Uh, they test your knowledge uh, related to the field and they do not test a particular software. Next question is from Salman. What is the passing percentage for CHD? Uh, you can see it uh, from the candidates guidebook. Uh, I don't have it downloaded or I, I can check. Tim, do you know of, of, the, of the top of your head? Uh, 
Okay, I'm uh, unmuted you now. No? Hello? Yep, go ahead. Yes, the pass rate for the CHD is about 55%. Okay, thank you, Tim. Sure. Okay, there is, is there material guide to study from? Uh, I won't say there is a guide, but there are a lot of resources at ASHRAE that can help you pass the examinations. Uh, the same question from Mr. Ashish Agnihotri. I already answered that. Uh, a question from Tejas, how to prepare for exam uh, for HBTP? Uh, I think you'll have to first download the candidates guidebook and start studying the resources uh, given in that guidebook. Uh, that's the that's the best way to start always. And there are there are groups of these uh, certifications on social media, so you can join one of those groups and take guidance from the previous examinees. Uh, same questions from uh, Mohammed Brady. Uh, uh, sorry if I uh, pronounced that name incorrectly. Uh, Chetan, okay, he, I already asked, uh, answered that question. Uh, what is the time needed as experience for healthcare certification uh, from Assam, Kamel? Um, I think you'll have to uh, take guidance from uh, a healthcare certified professional on that uh, because I, I'm nowhere close to uh, designing healthcare certifications. So unfortunately, I don't, I, I cannot answer that question. So question from Mr. Vikram Murthy. In which Indian cities are the ASHRAE computer testing centers? I know Mumbai for sure, because that's where I appeared, but there should be a couple more. Uh, Tim, would you like to take that question? Sure. If you go to the ASHRAE website, to the landing page of the certification program, you're interested in, there's a link to all of our computer-based testing locations. You just type in your country and all of the different locations will pop up. I think, okay, I think so we have five or seven in India. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah. And then like you said, beginning May 31st or so, we should have remote proctoring so you should be able to take the exam from your home or office okay thank you tim sure so the next question is from mr imran hussein what will be the recommended certifications for hvac project engineers uh in in my opinion uh the best will be the chd certification but uh there are of course others that you can look at Next question is from Mr. Mohammed. The fees of all courses are the same or different? They're the same for all the courses. The next question is from Essa. And is there any certifications for this lecture? I didn't understand that question, I'm sorry. Next one is from Mr. Tejas Gaude. Which certification suits the HVAC consultants? I think I already answered that question. For academicians, which certifications are required? Uh, it it, it, it uh, comes to your, your background. Um, there is no one way to answer that question, unfortunately. So I'm just taking the questions that are new. Uh, there are some repeated questions. So there is one more question from Mr. Ahmad Agag. Uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Uh, 
I'm graduated from 2016 and working as mechanical technical office HVAC designer or engineer. Am I eligible for? I think you'll have to ask that questions to the certifications committee because they approve the eligibility. Uh, Money, how are we doing on time? Can I take further questions or should I stop? No, no, no. You must uh, uh, respond to the queries of the parties. Okay, okay. Okay, sounds good. So the next question is, are the architect's courses valid for examinations? The answer to that question is yes, because it's an allied field. Uh, one more question from Esa, uh, but I, I already answered that question. Vinicha, no see your contact details. Uh, for any questions related to certifications, please contact certifications committee uh, at ASHRAE. I, I'm working. Okay, the next question is Mr. Abdul Malik. Uh, I'm working in energy sector. My background is automation engineer. Which certificate could best fit me? Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I cannot um, answer that question directly. It, it depends on your background. what is the passing okay okay there is a question from mr manoj kumar membership fees for ashray um the developing countries uh get a discounted membership fee uh, that's i think right now 110 dollars for one year compared to 220 dollars uh, for someone in the us so it's, it's a very discounted uh, membership fee this is from Mr. Kamal Ghosh. Uh, thank you for your feedback, sir. Next one is from Shanmugaraja. Raja. Uh, do Mumbai have exam center? Yes, it, it uh, Mumbai has the exam center. Uh, there are some responses that they were unable to see my screen or view, uh, hear my voice. Uh, unfortunately, that's the technical glitch. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Is there any proprietary classes available for these exams, especially for BEMP? That's a question from Mr. Sayyid Muhammad Fayek Raza. I do not think there are preparatory classes, uh, but if you have enough modeling experience and um, uh, you study reasonably well, I think you should be able to pass this examination. Uh, Mr. Ayub Jamal asks, can you share the material source with us and how to prepare before applying to the test? Uh, I don't know which certification you're talking about, but uh, there are, as I said, there are groups on social media that you can join and ask these questions. Okay, renew is very expensive. Okay, there is question from Mr. Fadi Al Altora. Uh, renew is very expensive and not courage. No society over the world this why. I think there are certain I mean, other societies who uh, who uh, you need to pay for uh, to renew your certification. For example, uh, LEED or Green Associate or LEED AP, you need to pay every two years. So ASHA is not the only society. Uh, I mean, I cannot answer that question. Uh, beyond that why is the failing rate high in bmp that's because ash really really tests you um, that's the reason um, it's 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 and there, there is also time pressure which i should have talked about but you need to manage your time really well in all these certification exams and that's why the detailed content outline um, is is a great resource the next question is from mr ahmad bidran uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Is there any sample exam for certification? Yes, there is a sample exam. Uh, ASHRAE offers you the free exam uh, once you apply for the certification. How can one renew his or her certificate? Uh, that's the question from Mr. Abdul Rahman Shah. Uh, you can earn a 45 PDH uh, for, for BMP, 
um, and then you can apply for renewal. Uh, you need to submit the proof of 45 PDH if the certifications committee asks for it. The next question is, uh, I have six months of experience as a HVAC designer. Can I apply for BCXP? To the best of my, my knowledge, uh, I don't think you can, but uh, you can download the candidate guidebook and uh, check for sure. So that was a question from Mr. Mohammed. Uh, Mr. Santosh Indulkar asks, during downloading the CHD guidebook, why the personal email ID is not accepting? That shouldn't happen because I downloaded all the exam guidebooks from the uh, from the website using the personal email ID. <laughs> okay, so the next question is from Mr. Ahmad. I'm not engineering, but I have more than six years of AC and allied product. What can I do to be certified? You don't need to be an engineer to appear for the certification. Uh, you can see the eligibility requirement from the, uh, from the candidate guidebook. And if you qualify for that, uh, you can appear for the examination. Okay, so the next question is from Mr. Shamkant Mirashi. Will this certification replace green building certification like USGBC AP? I'm sorry, but I I I don't follow that question. Uh, team, would you like to come in on this? Sure. I'm not sure which certification he's he or she is referring to. Um, okay. Our goal isn't to replace certifications but to validate comp job competency okay thank you tim so the next question is from mr mohammad obia i have a master's degree in mechanical power engineering but in renewable energy not in hvac so my question is my master's be considered yes to the best of my knowledge yes your master's degree will be considered uh, for the experience of course So the next question is from Mr. Ashish Mathur. I'm an ASHRAE member having 15 years experience. I'm eligible for which certification? You're, uh, you should be, I think, eligible for most, uh, or you should be eligible for the certification in which you have experience. Uh, I think that's, that's the best answer to that question. Uh, next question is from Mr. Ahmad Badran. Are there any material or exercise available to learn the exam method? I think we I think we we talked about that. Next question is from Mr. Digvijay Ronge. Uh, does academic experience count? If it is related to um, the the built environment, it should. Uh, next question is from Mr. Huzaifa Safi. I'm having four years experience as HVAC design engineer. Which course will I think we, we, we talked about this. Yeah, so uh, it's better to answer and the rest we can respond to their email, please. Yeah, sure. So I, so I think yeah. we are almost over time. So uh, you can direct right. next questions to uh, the certifications committee the presentation will be shared with you so uh, you can contact uh, the email id in the presentation and i'm sure you'll get uh, answers to all of your questions and um, thank you all for attending attending this uh, session and best of luck to you for your certification exams now i'll right. transfer the screen to money